Good morning, y'all. Uh, today is Monday. Monday is about 9.30 in the morning. I'm a little behind this week. Um, some ch plans changed this morning, so I didn't have to get up quite as early, even though now I missed like an hour of the morning rush. Um, so I'm about to turn on Uber right now. I'm gonna hit go online. Gotta do my COVID precautions. I'm wearing a mask. Yes, I'm wearing a mask. Take my picture. Before I get started with Uber, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. Hit that like button and leave a comment. Let me know how y'all's weekend went. Today is Monday. We are starting fresh. Um, as y'all know, or if you're new, I do not Uber on the weekends unless I need to because I didn't make my goals or if I want to make my goal, um, weekends are time for my family. So that's what I did this weekend. I, Sunday I did absolutely nothing and Saturday it was busy day. Um, had to do some errands in the morning and then we went to SeaWorld for a little while and then I went to the mall for a little while, the mall at Millennia. Um, for the Cheesecake Factory, of course, because that's the only one around. Well, that's the nicest one around. Um, because where I live is in the boonies. There's no, there's no nothing. <laughs> so, if you're new to my channel, I usually Uber in the Orlando, well, really it's Apopka, Altamont Springs area. Sometimes it'll bring me to a Koei, sometimes it'll bring me to Orlando which is fine I don't mind that um, but most of my rides are in Apopka Altamont and then a little bit into Orlando every once in a while it brings me to a Koei but I try not to go that far um, because then you're going so far to come back in and I don't like that all right y'all so I did get my first ride of the day it's for Chick-fil-a and it was only three miles so it's going to be $3 for three miles. Um, so let's head to Chick-fil-A. All right, so I'm back in my parking lot. I just delivered the first order of the day of Chick-fil-A. Um, $3 and I only went 2.4 miles. So it took me 13 minutes for that delivery. Not bad at all. All right, y'all. It is 10.04 and I just got my second order for... Chick-fil-A. Um, I think it was only like a mile and change so I don't have to go far at all and it's another quick three dollars. All right y'all so now my new total is six dollars for two trips in 45 minutes being online. Um, that's really good. This trip I just did probably only took me like 10 minutes if that. It was li literally right across the street and then less than a mile down the road so 45 minutes I did two trips for six dollars so that's not bad um, I'm about to eat my pop-tart because I forgot to eat breakfast before I left the house this morning so I'm about to eat my pop-tart and just wait for another ride to pop through all right y'all so it is 10:45. Um, so a little bit of time has passed since last time I spoke to you I ate my Pop-Tart and then I had some clothes for donation in my trunk so I went and dropped those off and then I went and got gas so now I have a full tank. Um, I sanitized my hands and now as I was leaving the gas station, Chick-fil-A is literally right across the street. Again, I got order for Chick-fil-A so three so far for today for Chick-fil-A. I think this was another one, it was $3, it was less than 3 miles, so I'm about to go inside now and grab the Chick-fil-A. Alright y'all, so I just delivered that other Chick-fil-A, it was like maybe a mile and a half away from Chick-fil-A, I am at $13 right now, let me see, I think somebody probably tipped, yes, I received a tip at ten forty-eight. so... I don't know if it's gonna let me see it. My my app be glitching. I don't know if y'all's glitches. Um, I've been online for an hour and a half now. So an hour and a half. I did three trips, nine dollars for the net fare, and then the tip was four dollars. So that's good. 
um, and that was for my first delivery I just saw it so that's very nice that's good four dollars for not even three miles so that's good they tip me more than I uber paid me <laughs> um, so yeah I'm about to head back to my parking lot now um, sorry if the quality is bad um, for the next probably two weeks I'm gonna be recording on an iPad so this quality is not great and it's like you see my hair girls are gonna know this is like so annoying you see how this does this whoop, whoop. it don't matter how many times I tuck it behind my ear in a minute is gonna pop right back out I low-key think it's because I wear glasses and my glasses I think just like kill the hair there I don't know um, but that's pretty annoying too so two weeks bad quality but after that hopefully I can get a camera that'll be a bomb and then I won't have to worry about it um, but for right now iPad it is all right y'all so it is 12 o'clock 11 59 and I did three more orders um, I did one for Huey Magoo's and then I did two in one for Chipotle. I don't usually accept Chipotle only because when I go in there, I'd be waiting for like 45 minutes and I, I can't do that anymore. Um, but since it was so early, I took it and it was about a five or six mile order um, for two deliveries though. Um, I just finished that and I got another one for two deliveries. Um, I thought it was for the same restaurant, but it's actually not. It's for two different restaurants. So I'm almost, they're like across from each other. So I don't know why it didn't have me go to go to the one I'm passing first. Um, but I'm headed to the Spanish restaurant that is very popular. And then I have to come back this way to get the second order for pickup. Um, no, but it was for 10 miles. I only took it because it was the two orders. Otherwise, I probably would not have accepted a 10 mile order. Especially not right now at lunchtime. But since it was two, I took it. Alright y'all, so let me turn my air down. Um, Alright y'all, so this order was the two orders. Um, I thought it was for Hurricane Grill, but it was actually for Chipotle again. Uh, with the Spanish restaurant so both restaurants I picked up the food Chipotle was ready again so that's really good it wasn't as busy I don't know it must be like the dinner rush that's super busy um, because dinner is horrible up in there um, so now I'm on my way to my first delivery it is two miles 2.2 miles I've already drove like a mile um, and that is to deliver the Chipotle and the next one was for the Spanish restaurant. It's going to be a lot further. It's probably going to be about six, seven miles more um, to go into Altamont to drop that off. All right, so the first order, which was the Chipotle, is delivered. I am headed, it said 5.6 miles for delivery in Altamont Springs for the Spanish restaurant. So I'm on my way there now. Um, so I'll let you know after delivery what my new total is. All right, y'all. So I just delivered the second order. Um, my total, it doesn't seem right because I know I could have swore I just looked at it. I don't know. I could have swore I just looked at my phone and it was $31 and change. And now I only have $36 and change. And the last delivery, um, let me show you guys. Earnings activity. Uh, it's supposed to be seven dollars and change so I'm not sure if it's my like I'm thinking wrong or if uber is right um, but as of right now it's saying I've been online for three hours and ten minutes I've done 18 trip I mean eight trips I'm looking at the 18 points <laughs> um, eight trips with 18 points and I'm at 3669 um, so far one two three four people have tipped only the last four have not and I'm saying four because my last two orders were both doubles two for Chipotle and then the last one was a Chipotle and the Spanish restaurant I don't know how to say the name I kill it every time I'm sure 
So I just say Spanish restaurant. Um, I've showed y'all before where it's at though. It's a very popular place. I say a couple times a week, I think at least I go there. Um, but this was a this was my farthest delivery today. Let me see how many miles it says. Um, it says I was only eight. It's only eight miles because I think I was almost at the restaurant um, when the orders came through. So eight miles for forty two minutes. It got me the seven dollars and fifty seven cents. So that's not bad. Now I'm about to head back towards my area unless I get an order because I am in Altamont and Altamont is a very popular spot. Even though it's right by I-4 and I that I-4 traffic like right there even just to get onto I-4 is horrible. It gets so backed up. It's crazy. But um, like in Altamont they have like the mall and all those little shops like in front of the mall is really good for ubers um usually this is the area that has like the surges and stuff but right now i think it's too early for all of that i'm just trying to go and look in there yeah the only surge is in um orlando so i know there was somebody asking me about that so if you deliver in this area here which is audubon park i'm not sure um Winter Park area, so all of those, Ashbury Park, all of those areas in Orlando, they usually have the dollar surge all the time, all throughout the day, especially lunchtime and dinner time. Sometimes dinner time, it'll be a dollar fifty, it'll be two dollars. So for the person that was asking me if you could make one fifty a day in Orlando, my answer is definitely yes. You definitely want to get the breakfast you want to get the lunch and the dinner though all hit all three times like 7 30 a.m till about 10 and then from 11 to 2 and then from 5 to 9 you want to hit all three of those prime times to get all of those orders so right after i stopped recording of course i got an order it's another two orders for Panda Express, which is right across the street, I think, from where I'm at. Um, it says it's only like a mile away, so it's not far. It's the Altamont one. And it's two orders again, and it's eight miles. I think it was less money, though. I'm not sure why. So I just did eight miles, and it was like $7. And this one, I think it was like $5, maybe, if that. Um, I took it though because it is two orders so that means that you have a chance of getting two separate tips So I'm about to head up the, the mile up the street to get the panda and then two deliveries one is close by and then one is Kind of in Orlando hey there. Thanks slightly smiling <laughs> So I just um, delivered both Panda Express orders and if you could hear that it's um, I got a new order for a boba shop and they were messaging me saying where to go once I get to the delivery address which she just said is the hospital and to go to the emergency room um, area and she'll be outside waiting. <laughs> Um, so I'm about to head to do that. I think it was like six miles um, And I'm going back to Altamont Springs. So that's good. It's the same area that is usually pretty busy All right, so I just went and picked up the boba um, When I went in there, it looked a little crazy because they had plastic wrap They had like when you walk in you can see the counter and it's like the you know little U shape and all around it is like plastic wrap draped um, so you can't even see behind the counter at all. They do have like a little sign that said if you want to order go this way If you're picking up go this way. So I went the way for to to pick up and they have like little window cutouts in their plastic wrap <laughs> I was laughing a little bit on the inside um, So now I'm almost to deliver that it was to the hospital in Altamont and I'm like barely half a mile away from that now I'm trying to hold the bag because how they have it set up, they have the two bobas and then the food on top of it. And I don't want it to fall over because I have it in my red DoorDash bag. That way I can, you know, let the customer know, hey, I had your food in a thermal bag 
and not have it in my Uber Eats bag because that one I keep in the back seat because it is so big. All right, y'all, so my new total is $58. Um, and it's only 145 so for half a day that's really good I'm only gonna be ubering till about probably 3 3 30 um, I want to go to the food store and go get some shopping done because yesterday I did absolutely nothing like I said before um, and I saw online too that people are gonna start hoarding groceries again because this virus is just it's getting worse I guess I don't I'm not sure um, so as of right now I've done 11 trips but the last couple you know were two and one um, so as of right now I'm at 5817 so that is really good I'm very happy with that um, I'll definitely I, if I was gonna uber all day I bet you I would hit probably like 150 um, because it's just been that good 11 trips so far and I've only been online for four hours so for four hours, I made almost $60. Whoop, whoop. Good evening. It is now, well, let me go in the Uber app and show you what time it is. Um, let's see if you can see the time. No, it is 9.36. There we go. A little bit. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, you can see my total for the day, 67.11. The last, um, let me screenshot that. The last few people did not tip. Other than that, I think everybody for the day tipped. So that's really good. Um, I did 13 trips. It gave me 29 points. I was online for a little less than six hours. My net fare was 39.07. My tips was twenty eight oh four, so that brought my total earnings to sixty seven eleven. Let me screenshot that, save it for later. So y'all, I beat my goal in about four hours for my half day goal, so that is really good. I was so happy with that, and then of course Uber's like, hey, from five to nine, you'll get an extra two dollars to every delivery, and I'm like, ugh, I'm not delivering from five to nine today. Um, only I think Wednesdays a little bit, Thursdays and Fridays I do dinners. Monday, Tuesday, I don't really do dinners. I do all day, like from early morning to mid-afternoon. Um, but yeah, so that was my day for today. That was start a good start off for my week. Um, let me know how y'all's Monday went down in the comments and if you guys Ubered on the weekend, how was your weekend? If you didn't, you can tell me what y'all do on the weekends. Um, I let y'all know that, you know, we go to SeaWorld a lot. Uh, we have the pass holder annual, annual passes for SeaWorld. Um, so we try and go at least two, three times a month. We want to hit up Aquatica. Um, I spent so long since I've been to a water park. I'm not really, I'm not a big fan. Um, but I hope you all have a great night and I will see you tomorrow.